All right. L let me ask you from a legal perspective, because you are a law professor, what are some of your thoughts uh, immediately about the Comey firing and some of the issues that have emerged since he was fired? Well, clearly there's some contextual issues here that right off the bat, you know, Trump has sort of first said that he fired him because he was not happy with what he was doing, uh, didn't like the way he was handling the, the Clinton emails. Well, he could have done that, you know, way back on January 20th when he took office. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is that oftentimes in criminal law, you have to look at context and circumstance. And here we have Comey apparently having made a request for increased funding to do the, in the Russian connection investigation. Um, there seems to be um, an investigation that's moving further and further in terms of looking to a variety of people, such as you know um, Flynn, um, his one former national security former advisor, advisor, who had to resign. Right. One possibility is, and not, is, is that if. Trump, in fact, fired Comey to try to halt or short circuit the Russian investigation. This sort of fits the classic definition of obstruction of justice, efforts to try to interfere with an ongoing federal criminal investigation. And I hate to sort of draw parallels back to Watergate, uh, but, but there's a parallel here in terms of a president trying to obstruct a criminal investigation that could very well involve him. Although we are not there yet in, not. In, in, in any way, but, uh, and the president is saying the reason he fired, although there have been some different sort of nuances right. versions right. here, is because of the way he handled the Clinton investigation. Even Senator Ted Cruz said, it would be a lot cleaner right. if we had done this if he had done this in January or the first day he was in office. Uh, and the Republican uh, chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee is saying the same thing, Senator well, Burr. Right, and also the fact is that we might recall that during the campaign, at one point, Trump praised Comey um, for having lots of guts for having reopened the investigation. You know that like ten days right. before the election, and so it almost seems as if. Trump's own statements in the past about Comey contradict what he's doing now. And in fact, that's the bigger problem here, beyond the legal issue here. It's the incredible confusion that's occurring in the Trump administration where no one's speaking with a consistent voice and they're all over the place. And politically now for the Republicans, this becomes a problem because the Trump agenda is completely, uh, let's say, sidetracked or derailed. And the and Republic this is self-inflicted in terms of all, the unpredictability. Exactly. It's all self-inflicted. So anything that he says he wants to do, yeah. he can't yeah. move on. And I think it is important though to say that, that uh, President Trump remains incredibly popular with Republicans. 84% approve of right. his handling of the Comey matter. 